Howdy folks, back at it again with another pixel art on Photoshop video. Okay, so today we're going to be tackling some layers. Uh, layers are really a handy tool to be able to move stuff around, rearrange stuff, and also um, be able to make adjustments to individual parts of our picture. So I'm going to start by creating a new uh, file, 32 by 32 again. Yep, everything's the same as we did last time. Okay, there we go. Let's zoom right in there. And of course, the first thing we're going to do is delete that white backdrop. Oh, that's not going to work because I have it locked. Delete that. Okay, we're starting out like that. Deselect. All right, so now we have this layer here. And then we want to do a couple more layers on top of that. But I'm going to start with uh, the first thing I'm going to do. I think I'm going to draw a mountain today. So we're going to get a sort of mountainy color, a nice mountain uh, gray, perhaps a neutral gray. You can see over there, you can see the neutral gray. I'm going to go into my pencil brush and I'm going to draw this basic shape for a mountain. Look at that mountain. Very nice. I'm going to fill that so we have sort of a bunch of pixels there. And I can come in with a brush and I can sort of make it a bit more. Uh, to my liking. I can erase parts of it, make it a bit more perhaps organic looking, uh, a little more craggy, sort of things like that. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. If I ever want to see what it looks like uh, without this grid, so this grid is not going to show up if you actually have a pixel art, this is just to help us. So you can zoom out again and then zoom back in. So I like to do that quite often. I'll be doing that quite a bit in this video presentation. Okay, so we have our basic mountain. This is where the layers are going to start to come in handy. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to call this mountain. And then I'm going to create a new layer. You see uh, these uh, little shapes here at the bottom. Those are our layer uh, sort of tools. And we can create a new layer by clicking on this uh, little new page kind of thing. And I'm going to call this layer, I'm going to call it sky. So now we have mountain and we have sky over here. I'm actually going to double click on the layer and rename it. I'm going to capitalize it because I am an English geek. Okay, so now we have the sky here and the mountain. So these are actually different things. And I'll show you how that what that means in a second here. I'm going to take this um, and I can, for example, I can take my paint bucket here and what's a nice sky color, this blue. I can fill my sky. Oh no, what has happened to my mountain? Um, this arrangement here of what is on top of what is important. So if I want to see my mountain again, I better put my sky behind it. Does that make sense? So this is actually the arrangement here with the things that are on the top are naturally on the top and the things that are on the bottom are on the bottom. Zoom in and zoom out here. There's my mountain and I'll zoom back in. Okay, so that makes sense. I don't really love this like straight blue sky. You can see I can use these tools here to see uh, things. If I I really love that. So I am going to teach you a new tool. So we're going to go back down here to our paint bucket here. But behind the paint bucket, if you click and hold, there's a gradient tool. And I can use my gradient tool to draw a gradient. Right now, this is sort of the default gradient. I can draw it this way. And, oops, I've, I've covered up my mountain. I want to do that on my sky. Uh, I can do that. No, oh, that's looking a little fancier, isn't it? That's pretty cool. That's a little easier to see. I can angle it slightly, I suppose, if I kind of wanted that. And if I really want to get fancy, I can come up here and select the type of gradient. So if I uh, come into my gradient editor, that's just clicked on that gradient color up there, I can come in and change the types. So I can change the color. Here, I can come in, I can make sort of a sunset. So let's make a sunset, let's make it sort of yellowish and that color oh, I'm just gonna select that and that color over there I can do I don't know purple this is like a neon sky I can select it I can change the amount of uh, each color in the scene I'm gonna do it a bit that way I'm gonna come in here this is a 
bit crazy. So let's um, let's lighten that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we have a crazy gradient, but I'm going to okay that. Let's see, it's selected up there. If I go back to my gradient, press G, and I am on my sky layer, I can make it a bit more funky. You can see, if I go from the top to the bottom, it's going to start on one side, and if I go from the bottom to the top, I can go the other way. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can go in and I'm going to pull it over a little bit to get a little less pink on it. And let's try that again. There we go. I like that. I can just do it at the top corner, kind of. There we go. That's kind of neat. Uh, all right. So we've done our nice sky gradient. You can see there's all these different colors. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. So we're going to leave that for now. I keep saying I'm happy with it, but really, there we go. I like that. Okay. So we have our mountain and our sky. Now what happens if we want to come in here and let's add some snow to our mountain. So let's add a new layer. Call it snow cap. And we're going to come in here to our snow cap. And with our mountain beside behind us, we can come in with our brush, select white, and just make it kind of snowy up there. Now I'm not painting over these pixels because if I make that disappear, the mountain's still there, but I'm using them as a reference to help me understand where to paint onto. That's a pretty cool little snow cap there on the mountain. The mountain's still there. And uh, so we now have a snow cap. And I can come in here and add another layer. I can call this mayor hot lava. And if I come in here with hot lava, I'm going to turn off my snow cap and we're going to come in here with some oranges and some reds and just fire exploding out of my mountain. Chaos rains upon the earth. Destruction, explosions, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, isn't this a blast? <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? Okay, so we've had our hot lava layer on our mountain. If I don't like that, I can turn it off. I can add the snow cap, or I can go back to that. I don't really want both of them at the same time because snow can't exist with lava. Are you crazy? Okay, so now we have two different kind of styles of mountain, and we can choose which one we want. All right. Going to get a little bit more complicated here. We're going to go back to our mountain layer. Make sure you have the right layer selected when you work on this stuff. And we're going to shade our mountain a little bit. So instead of doing it for the swatches panel, I'm going to do it through the color panel. So we're going to press Alt to select the color that we want. You can see it's right here. It's red. That's kind of doesn't matter because if you'll notice that the true colors are going to be at the corner. If I come through here, the colors on the top right corner are going to be uh, the most saturated of all those colors. But if we go further left we go into the panel, the more grays there are. This has no color value at all. The closer to the top, the more white we have, and the closer to the bottom, the more black we have. So we're going to just play around with creating more grays by moving up and down this panel. It doesn't, like I said, doesn't matter what color we have because we're only dealing with grays. This is going to make more sense later. I'll just leave it on blue for now. Okay, so we have this color here. Press B. It's not really going to do anything because we're painting over top of that. So if we're going to come up and we're going to add a little lightness to it. Um, so the sun's somewhere over here so we can just start sort of shading our mountain and Going a bit brighter for some of it as well. And then we're going to go darker for some of it as well. And a bit more dark on this side. And a bit brighter. And I like to just sort of add a few different things. That's pretty close to where we were. And I just like to move around on that panel. And you might think, but that doesn't look like anything. That just looks like a bunch of stuff you've drawn on your mountain. And that's when 
we zoom out and we see if it looks any good. You know, that's not great. So we can come back here. We can press Alt to choose a color on the mountain we already have. And it's a little too chaotic. So we're going to come back here and just sort of keep going through it. Okay, so we're going to keep coloring our mountain. And zoom out. It's getting a bit better. Okay, and so let's go a little darker for some of that stuff in the middle. Zoom out. Ooh, getting fancy. Okay, so we we'll just go ahead and shade it. I'm not super good at this, but we're trying our best here. Okay, so uh, now we're going to come back and uh, go to our layers again. And I'm going to add some clouds. So I'm going to do a new thing there. I'm going to add clouds. So if we add some clouds, I'm going to go back here with white. And I'm going to draw a few fluffy clouds in the sky. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to put one right here. So it's like the mountain is a misty, misty mountain. Okay, that doesn't look great. So I'm going to teach you one more thing before we go here, and that is for the entire layer now, I'm going to decrease the opacity. So it's going to allow some of the layer behind to show through so that we can see that these clouds are kind of misty. So I'll go up to 67%, sure. And if we zoom out again, it's not looking too bad. It might need one more cloud down here so that we can uh, best see. It's maybe a bit much. And uh, so we can see that it is meant to be drawn over top of the mountain. That's pretty cool. Okay, and we can keep doing that. We can add birds. We can add lots of different things. But that's where we're going to stop for now. Uh, hot lava.